In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a factory parts radiator fan on your KTM, Husqvarna, or Gas Gas. Remove the lowest bolt on the water pump housing. This will be the only bolt that has a copper washer behind it. Then remove the radiator cap and the coolant will start flowing out faster. Catch the coolant in a clean container if you're planning on reusing it. About one liter of coolant will come out, so make sure your container is large enough. Tilting the bike both ways a couple of times will help remove extra coolant out of the system. Then reinstall the drain bolt with the copper washer. The copper washer can be reused if it's in good condition. Tighten up to 10 newton meters or just hand tight. Remove the seat bolt and seat. Unscrew the radiator shrouds from the radiator louvers. You can also take your radiator shrouds off, but it isn't necessary, so I chose not to. Unclip the fuel hose, remove tank mounting bolt, and unattach the bed hose. Lift up tank and unplug the fuel pump. Remove radiator mounting bolts from the right hand side radiator and loosen the hose clamps. Unattach the overflow hose from the bike and carefully remove radiator. Some coolant may still be in the radiator, so don't spill any if you're planning on reusing the coolant. The fan will need to be installed on the mounting bracket first as the screws come in from the front. Use the four longer screws provided. Orientation of the wire on the fan isn't super crucial as the wire has enough length as long as it's not oriented on the further side of the fan. I chose mine to be oriented to the top. Then mount the bracket and fan to the radiator using the four shorter screws provided in the kit. The bracket only lines up with the holes on the radiator one way. Reinstall the radiator on the bike and plug the fan into the connector. Your connector may be tucked up into the wiring harness. It will be the only plug the fan can connect to, so there's no chance you could use the wrong plug. Installation is the reverse of the removal, with the exception of the fan relay that is supplied in the kit, which needs to be installed into the plug next to the other relays under the seat. Pour in your coolant. You can tilt the bike while filling to help any trapped air in the system escape, and once you start the bike, it can also help to tilt the bike side to side to remove any other trapped air. The fan is controlled by the ECU, so there's no settings to play with, and it will turn on and off as the ECU reads the coolant temperature. Reinstall everything the same way it was removed and the radiator fan install is done. If this was helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to stay up to date with my other bike builds and riding videos.